This is a recording of our playbook. Download the playbook, configuration spreadsheet, and ABA lab environment from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, Ashbridge's Bay Extensible Multi-Site Collaboration Lab. This drawing describes the Ashbridge's Bay Extensible Multi-Site Collaboration Lab used to support the Enterprise 20 build-out. You can build this lab yourself. The ABay Multi-Site Collaboration Lab was designed to run the playbooks for the Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build and all future collaboration application playbooks. You can use the lab to help prepare for certification, for CCNA collaboration, CCNP collaboration, or CCIE collaboration. Or, if you just need to do your job, facilitate collaboration and get the best return on investment for your Cisco collaboration solution. Build a sophisticated homework lab with minimal costs. Start by learning about the CUCM and other applications. That's where the future is. Build a comprehensive and complete collaboration deployment using the Enterprise 20 playbooks and configuration spreadsheets. Worry about routers, PoE switches, voice cards, and DSPs later. Use rack rentals or buy hardware to learn about routers, voice cards, and DSPs once you already understand CUCM configuration and administration. Don't waste rack rental time learning about things you don't need the rack for. Enterprise 20 has 10 sites across Canada. We need to route calls out local gateways at each site. Dialing is different at different sites. Users roam between sites. Users have multiple devices, including devices outside the enterprise. We want to maximize reachability, and we need a dial plan our users can understand. It's the most sophisticated simulation available today. Each site has its own DID range to illustrate different aspects of internal dial plan design and configuration and incoming call handling. The extensible multi-site PSTN simulation can be modified and extended. Users can call all different kinds of numbers. Emergency, service, local seven digit, local 10 digit, long distance, toll free, and international. The Multi-Site Collaboration Lab provides simulated PSTN connectivity, allowing a comprehensive dial plan to be built for Enterprise 20. Each site can dial many different kinds of numbers. Emergency, service codes, home NPA 7 digit, home NPA 10 digit, home NPA toll, long distance, international, toll free, high risk, and other sites can be dialed. We make testing easy. You can bat in test phones and user device profiles configured with a wide variety of numbers that can be dialed using abbreviated dialing. Test suites reference the abbreviated dialing numbers. Here are calls from Vancouver 59-56001 to a local 10-digit and international number using abbreviated dialing. The external test phones have abbreviated dialing configured to call into the Enterprise 20 sites. Here is a call from Vancouver 59 test to Vancouver 59 56001 using abbreviated dialing. You can use the Multi-Site Collaboration Lab to learn all about CUCM capabilities and configuration. Enterprise 20 deploys a comprehensive variable length on-net dial plan, overlapping extensions at different sites, 
non-permissive dialing for 7 and 10 digit local numbers, site to site calling via the PSTN, TEHO, type of number digit manipulation, and global transformations and E.164 routing. Regions and locations, automated alternate routing and call forward unregistered, extension and device mobility, mobile connect or single number reach, and more. All you need to build the multi-site collaboration lab and run the playbooks are two VMs and some phones. On the left is the Enterprise 20 cluster. We run the Enterprise 20 playbooks on this cluster and use the multi-site PSTN simulation for testing. On the right is the multi-site PSTN simulation cluster, a 10-site simulated PSTN with test phones to use to test the Enterprise 20 dial plan. You don't need voice gateway routers for the lab. You don't need voice cards. Work smart, save your money. Build a sophisticated homework lab with minimal costs. Start by learning about the CUCM and other applications. That's where the future is. Learn to build a comprehensive and complete deployment. Worry about routers, PoE switches, voice cards, and DSPs later. Rack rental costs add up. Rack Rental can cost $10 an hour and more. Use Rack Rentals to learn about routers, voice cards, and DSPs once you already understand CUCM configuration and administration. Do as much as you can in your homework lab before you spend money on Rack Rental. See how to build the lab at this address. Enjoy the free content available on our website. Subscribe and get access to all the Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build value add. The lab is easy to use. Our multi site collaboration lab build playbook shows you how to build the lab. Once you've built the lab, you can run the Enterprise 20 playbooks and bat in the test phones for the playbooks. You can bat in a playbook solution for investigation. Playbook solutions include the test phones for the solution. You can just play. Individual playbooks indicate the bat file solutions and test phone configurations to use and how to load them. Each Enterprise 20 site has an external test phone configured with test numbers to call from that site. The test phone is registered to Central Pub the multi-site PSTN simulation. Use the external test phone to test calling to and from and forwarding to outside numbers. Here's the Montreal 57 site external test phone. You can call from Montreal 57 site internal phones to any of these numbers. Every site has its own test phone. Test phones and user device profiles are configured with friendly device names. Download the BAT spreadsheets if you want to change the phone type, device name, or other configuration. Launch test phones. You can switch between test phones by changing the device name configuration on CIPC. This CIPC is configured as the Toronto 55 test phone. We added user device profiles, so with extension mobility, you can use a wide variety of phones for test phones. Sometimes it's convenient to use a site-specific outside test phone, but sometimes it's not so convenient to switch between the site-specific test phones. You can replace all the site-specific outside test phones with a single phone, Central Test. You can test external dialing for all sites using this single test phone. The display is not as nice using this phone, but you don't need to switch phones to test things at different sites. Central Test has abbreviated dialing configured so that you can test incoming calling to all sites from this phone. These numbers are indicated on the Central Test tab of our spreadsheet, Enterprise 20 000 Abbreviated Dial Test Numbers, version 4.3.1.
Here's a call from Central Test to Vancouver 59-56001. You can see caller ID on your internal phone. Each Enterprise 20 site has two internal test phones. You can bat in the test phone solutions for each playbook. Here's the Montreal site, Montreal 57-36001 internal test phone. User Chloe Campbells owns this phone. Using CIPC, the test phones are configured with friendly device names. Download the spreadsheets if you want to change the phone type, device name, or other configuration. UDPs are provided as well. You can switch between test phones by changing the device name configuration on CIPC. This CIPC is configured as the Montreal 57-36001 internal test phone. Internal test phones are configured with a wide variety of numbers that can be dialed using abbreviated dialing to facilitate testing. These numbers are for the Vancouver 59 site internal test phones. The Enterprise 20 end user training was developed using the lab. If you want to see what using the lab looks like, then have a look here. This video is continued in Ashbridge's Bay Extensible Multi-Site Collaboration Lab, Part 2. What can we learn using the Multi-Site Collaboration Lab? Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.